start. Right, in today's session we will discuss something about feedback amplifiers. In the previous session we have discussed uh, what is all about feedback. Right? So, in detail, uh, if we want to describe something about feedback, what I can say is that feedback is nothing but the process of adding some portion of output to the input. Okay? So, the process of adding a portion of output to the input is called as <laughs> feedback. What is or where is the output taken for this feedback amplifier? The output is taken at the amplifier output. Simple, we will be taking a simple basic amplifier. The amplifier output, amplifier output is again connected to the input of the amplifier. This, this process is called as feedback. So in this process of adding or else in this process of injection of the output to the input, we may take or the injection may be adding to the input or else to the amplifier or else it may be opposing the input of the amplifier. So in that case we find two kinds of feedback. First one is positive feedback and the second one is negative feedback. What, when we say the feedback is positive is if the signal or the feedback signal is in phase with the amplifier then it is called as positive feedback. Or if the output or the feedback signal that is taken from the output of the amplifier is opposing the amplifier output, then it is called as negative, negative feedback. feedback. Okay? The positive feedback, we say that the output and input are in phase to each other. And in the negative feedback, we say that output and input are out of phase with each other. The other name for positive feedback is positive feedback Regenerative. Regenerative. Is also called as regenerative, regenerative feedback. Regenerative feedback. And negative feedback. Negative feedback is called as regenerative feedback. Regenerative. Okay? Right. So regenerative and degenerative. So, in, in general case, we generally prefer uh, one kind of feedback for one type of circuits and one kind of feedback for the other kind of circuits. So, the most commonly used uh, feedbacks is negative feedback. In general case, for any transistor amplifier, we generally prefer for, we generally prefer negative feedback. Why we don't choose positive feedback in that? Positive feedback has one advantage, that is, it increases the gain of the amplifier. Other case, uh, in other case, negative feedback decreases the gain of the amplifier side. But we generally choose positive feedback only. What is a need? Uh, though it is having a negative, uh, uh, one negative uh, point, like uh, it has, uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, it has uh, increased in gain, the output of the amplifier circuit or the output gain, is high for positive feedback, but then we choose negative feedback. What is the reason? The reason is that negative feedback, though it has uh, less output gain, it has some other features like it has reduced distortion and reduced noise levels. The simple point is, if the gain of the amplifier is increasing, for example, in general case, for any amplifier, if you give one out, one as input, we will get output in terms of in, uh, multiples of some millions of out, um, times the output will be multiple. So in any case, if we are taking an amplifier, if you give one as an input, we may get, uh, the input may be multiplied some millions of times. So in, in that case, the gain of the amplifier is increasing. But at the same time, the noise levels are also amplified. And distortion levels are also getting amplified. So this is the major disadvantage of positive feedback. Though the gain is increasing, it has uh, uh, ill effects. Uh, we can say that it has an ill effect of increasing the noise and also increasing the distortion. So this may distort the output of the amplifier circuit. So in that case, we generally prefer negative feedback. Though negative feedback has is reducing the gain of the amplifier, it also reduces, the, uh, as the gain is reducing, it reduces the noise and it also reduces the distortion. So, this has been the major point.
point or else uh, this, has, uh, this is a crucial point for choosing the negative feedback for most of the amplifier circuits. In general case, almost all the amplifiers are based upon the feedback or degenerative principle concept. Okay? Because the noise levels are decreasing, distortion is decreasing and at the same time it has some other advantages like the bandwidth is increasing and at the same time input and output uh, impedances levels are moderately made. These, all these factors made the negative feedback uh, uh, more important than positive feedback. You may think that positive feedback may not be used in any electronic circuit. This is also used in some of the electronic circuits like in oscillators which we are going uh, to discuss in the next unit. So in that uh, 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 oscillator circuits we prefer positive feedback. In almost all the amplifier circuits we use negative feedback especially in oscillator circuits we go for positive feedback. So uh, this is a major, these are the major advantages uh, uh, what we see for negative feedback. And this is the reason why we generally prefer or we go for negative feedback circuit in almost all the electronic circuits. Okay? Can you summarize the points what I have told you? All right. For negative feedback, we have the advantages of it has reduces the gain and it turns it reduces the distortion levels and also it also reduces the noise levels and increases the increases the bandwidth. So most of all, almost all the electronic circuits are based upon this concept that is negative feedback circuit.